The next question is from Firdosul Haq, Kerala, India. Can a Muslim become an IAS officer or an IPS officer in a democratic country like India? First question was from a Muslima, a Muslim sister. This question is from a Muslim male. A similar question asked by Shahil Ahmed from Kolkata, India. I recently completed my B.Tech in Computer Science and got job offers from many multinational companies but I haven't joined yet because I want to become an IAS officer to serve my country. But there are a few things that are discouraging me from becoming one. Number one, the current political situation which increases hatred against Muslims. Number two, after meeting a few bureaucrats, they say civil servants are bound to get corrupted because they can't overrule the orders of their corrupt political masters. Number three, constitutionally, politicians can harass you because they have power to transfer and remove any civil servant from important posts and give less important posts. Since I'm a practicing Muslim, what is the advice? Both these questions are related. The first question posed by the Muslim brother, that can he become an IS officer or an IPS officer in a democratic country like India? And the answer depending upon whether can you follow the deen after becoming an IS officer or IPS officer. If you can, it is permissible. If you cannot, it's not permissible. It will depend upon each individual. And the question posed by the second brother, that he wants to become an IS officer, but there are few queries. And all these three queries are very important and need to be addressed separately. The first thing he said is that seeing the hatred towards the Muslims being increased in India, will he be able to do the job of an ass officer? And the answer is, it will be difficult. It's not impossible. It's possible but difficult. Now when your colleagues start attacking you, attacking Islam, attacking the Prophet, attacking you as a Muslim, do you have the ikhmar to reply? Do you have the courage to reply to them is important. If you are a timid person and you cannot reply and you are shy, so my advice is that don't take such job. If you think you can answer them, you are good in replying, you are bold, you can take it, then go ahead with it. Whether you become an IPS officer, whether you become an IS officer. And the second point post was that because when you take this post, there is bound to be that you may be tempted to do wrong things. You may be tempted for bribery, you may be tempted to do things which are illegal according to the country, which are haram activity of Islam. And I agree with the person totally that when you are in high position like an IPS officer, and it's common that if not all, then majority of the IPS officers, not all, but the majority for sure, they are corrupted. And if an honest officer goes there, he either becomes corrupt or he has to leave the job. So in this situation, you are the Muslim, bribing is haram, how can you take bribe, how can you become corrupt, it's a challenge for you. Because the setup is such of these government, whether an IS officer or whether an IPS officer, that if you don't agree with them, they make life difficult for you. And the third part is that the political bosses, if you don't follow them, they will transfer you, yes, they can transfer you. So my advice to you is that if you are strong, if you know that you have the courage not to involve in bribery, you will not do corruption, you will do justice, you will follow the Quran and Sunnah. And if the political bosses tell you something, one thing you are sure that if you are honest, they cannot remove you, they can transfer you, yes. They put you to a place which is isolated. But when they transfer you, if there is no evidence of yours, which is against the law, what they will do? They cannot demote you. They can transfer you. And when they transfer, very often they may have to give you a higher position. I know some officers, Muslim officers, which were very honest. Because they were honest, they kept on being transferred. And because they were transferred, they kept on getting a raise very fast. So at a young age, they reached the top position very fast. Alhamdulillah, so it's a blessing in disguise. So if you're such a person who's a Muslim, who's strong, who can face the criticism of the non-Muslim, who can face the attack of the non-Muslims against Islam, and who's going to be honest, who will accept the challenge and say that I will not involved in bribery, I will not do corruption, I will give justice even if it goes against myself, I will protect the Muslims, then go ahead with the job. Whether it's an IPS officer, whether it's an IS officer, it's going to be a challenge, it's going to be difficult. I know many Muslims who have taken this job and have deviated away from Islam. There are few that I know who have stuck to the straight path. If you know that you are bold, if you can take the challenge, if you have that metal in you, then go ahead. Alhamdulillah, otherwise it is safer for you not to take up such a job.